Hello everyone, this is this old man, and you are now in the sixth video of my skill tree loadout for, you know, the fastest way to collect material and build out your boats. For this video, I've gone through and, and put my best armor on. We're standing on uh, a galleon that I have built, and and it's past the levels that we've been talking about, but uh, just shows some of the, the cool stuff that you can build. Uh, even as a solo, I've been able to, to have a lot of fun and, and build these out. It's taken a bit of time. I hope you enjoyed the series. We'll jump into this last one. The focus is on captaineering and artillery so that we can load up these uh, ships that we've built, uh, protect ourselves at sea. So let's get into it right away. So, we still don't have any skill points really left from uh, the last one, so we're going to have to go up to level 33. Here, uh, I'm going to go to health. If we go to skills. What we want to do is open up captaineering. We're going to come over there, and we're going to get the basics of crew. This is going to be allowing you to... Uh, Put the uh, resource and the food larder in for the men that are on your ship. That way you don't have to keep them uh, food on them and money on them. They don't run out. Uh, it's way easier to manage that way. The ship resource box is also used to put in all your uh, wood, uh, metal, uh, fibers, and thatch. And then you can run around with a, a hammer and you can just do repairs on the boat instead of trying to carry that material around the boat uh, to, to fix it. Uh, the food larder is much like the uh, the feeding trough. It holds the food four times longer than just kind of keeping it on the person. So that's a huge help. Now, my next skill sets, and, and we'll just spend a couple here. One is on talent and crew. The, they run the, the boat better, and the other one is cheaper crew. I, I would build both of these out over time as far as you can down the tree here. It just turns the sails quicker, uh, and it uh, makes the men cheaper. So when you load out my boats right now, I'm, I'm running 18 to 20 crew, um, each of them taking some amount of gold every real hour. So lowering the, this, I have them down to one gold, I think, every six hours. Uh, it's a huge help. Uh, and I think they start at one gold per hour, one gold every 30 minutes. So. But we're, that's as far as I'm going to go down in this section. Uh, we're going to go to the next level and then start worrying about artillery. So let's go up a level. I'll choose health again. We're going to go back to uh, seamanship. And we're looking for... There it is, artillery, which is eight points. So we're going to have to go up another level. Now we can open up artillery. And here's where things start to get fun. We're going to want to open up the ammunition box, cannons, and the siege studies. Again, if, if you're going to chase whales, you're going to want the siege studies for the ballistas. If you have uh, buildings that you're protecting in PvP, you're going to want these to man them from uh, NPCs sitting near base. The cannons, these are just the regular size cannons. You're going to have to go higher levels to, to get the big cannons. And the ammunition box here is just to hold the ammunition just like the, the food larder. You put it all in one spot and the guys will pull it for all the different guns on the ship. So we're going to grab this right now. You can go off and build it. I, I would say get out on your ship and, and get used to sailing it while we uh, scale up and uh, get the rest of this. Uh, some of the trips to your uh, metal, uh, you're going to have to bring them back and, and make ingots out of them in your, uh, not your smithy, but your, your metallurgy. So let's go uh, up another level, start putting in intelligence. That's going to open up cannons for us. And now we're just looking for 14 more points, which is going to be two more levels to get the ballista and turret. 
So we're going to go here just quickly. We'll put it intelligence and fortitude. Gives us two levels. 15 points. And the siege studies. Now you have all the bits and pieces you need to protect yourself when out at sea and to start protecting your base if you're playing PvP. Let's just take a quick look at some of these pieces of machinery. Up here, I have the uh, resource box, sorry, the ammunitions box. I actually have three on this ship. Uh, I put this here just if I'm, I jump on the boat and I want to throw it in here real quick, I'll, I'll drop it right here. I have my resource box over here. It can be anywhere on the ship and it works it's for the whole ship, it doesn't really matter. The ammunitions box is central. so. I have one down at this end, which is pretty much the same one as up at the other end. And then I have another one down here at this end. Uh, to support the ship. Now, uh, I did that thinking that one in the middle would not support the whole ship. I hear that if you put one right in the middle, everyone on the ship will, will be supported appropriately. Here we have small cannons. You see they swivel on their base. Uh, these smaller cannons have a good horizontal range. The large ones don't swivel, and they can only shoot back. Uh, but their damage, I think, is, is twice. We have a young man here manning it, and he's uh, carrying my same mustache, so he's a good guy. Anyone with a good, strong mustache. When you are using these, if uh, you're fighting the damned, one of the tricks is to uh, get them behind you. So what you have here is I got two large cannons, four small, and that's so that once I pass the uh, ship to the damned, I can uh, I control them behind me and, and take a little bit of damage in the back while I I pepper them with uh, the cannons here. Here's some ballistas. I've used these. Uh, when I've uh, gone ashore and, and I was going to do some whaling, but uh, uh, shooting Cyclops or shooting Yeti, uh, they come in handy there. They'll do 750 points of damage for that. So yeah, that's what you're going to be able to build. Obviously, you have to go a few higher levels to get the, the large cannon. Um, and then obviously you can skill up in those and, and have them reload quicker and uh, be more functional. But with what uh, I've given you here, you're going to have enough to take down pretty much any ship of the damned. Again, like I said, you can probably whale anywhere you want. Uh, whales are in the, the top two rows or the bottom two rows of the, of the map. Um, and there we have the Brigadine. You can see how much larger the Galleon is in the Brigantine. It's quite a ship. It's a big one. So I hope you like these series. I hope you're you're now sailing and and uh, taking down the army of the damned, bringing down some whales. And uh, if you're PvP, hopefully you're you're defending your property and and pirateering across the the ocean. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment. I'd, I'd love to know what you guys think of the series. Really appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to watch it.